July 8th, 2021. Daddy's promotion to Colonel. We park in a reserve place. There were flags inside. And a program. There was a rehearsal. While we waited. And chatting. Today's promotion ceremony in honor of Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Philip C. Willis, Jr. There was a prayer, a welcome, and remarks. First agreement, the impeccable is your word. Your word must be a bond. It cannot be about you. Don't make assumptions. <clears throat> Always do your best. My brother, now he is my senior brother. And we knew that this day was going to happen for him. We just didn't know when, but we knew that it was going to come. And if I were able to pick a successor, it would probably be a man like one of these. And let me tell you why, and through his decades of service as a minister of the gospel, there's been no hint of disingenuity. No scandal has marred him or followed him. He is a man honor, a man of integrity, a million Seventh-day Adventists in North America and its territories. Of that million Seventh-day Adventists, million plus, 6,000 are pastors. Of the 6,000 pastors, 750 are chaplains. Of the 750 chaplains, 126 or 30 are in the military. Of that number, in, of those who are in the army, right now in the reserves, I believe you are the only Seventh-day Adventist chaplain colonel. One of a very unique number. And it is because the flame of spirituality and integrity has roared in their life and in their experience of leadership. So, Chaplain Willis, it is my honor to present you with this award because the Seventh-day Adventist Church is proud of you, proud of what you've done, proud of what you do, proud of who you have become and all that will follow in that train. May God bless you and keep you and guard you and continue to make you bulletproof now and forever. <laughs> Thanks, sir. God bless. The last one was Colonel Stokes. In assessing Chaplain Willis, I found him to be professional, intelligent, highly motivated, competent, disciplined, and noted military leader. I recall, just like it was yesterday, looking outside of my battalion headquarters top, down to my right down the road about 500 yards, and seeing this large gaggle of men and women for his service and vehicles parked around. He was the first chaplain in the 159 year history of the Michigan Army Marine National Guard to receive the Grand Star. I also would like to acknowledge Mrs. Willis, Colonel Willis's mother, who was not here, and also his late father, Pastor Philip E. Willis Sr. He would have the biggest, beautiful smile from here to you. His eyes would be filled with tears of joy and happiness, and his heart would be overflowing with pride, love, and affection for his own son. Captain Charles Willis, Chaplain Colonel Stokes.
29 April 2021 by order of the Secretary of the Union. Now pinning up the rank. Here we are changing the rank on Daddy's uniform. Daddy received a certificate and he took an oath. I'm Philip Willis Jr. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States, having been appointed an officer of the United States in the rank of Colonel, in the rank of Colonel, you solemnly swear, you solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Come on. <laughs> Before Daddy gave his speech, he gave these flowers to Mommy. Brigadier General Tuszynski, thank you. Um, Colonel Warfield, I don't see him here. I know he's in the building. Uh, thank you, Mr. Walter, uh, for being here. Thank you, everyone. And I wish I could begin to describe the incredible feelings and gratitude that I feel today and all the kind words that were shared, a family that's here and everybody that uh, participated today. Um, uh, Dorothy Keith, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Steve uh, Glimp, 1225th alum, appreciate you being here. Brandon Palace, David, David Simons, David Willis, and other distinguished guests and friends and family members, thank you so much. Uh, I grew up in a wonderful Christian family, the best mom and the best dad uh, anyone could ever ask for. Uh, my, my, my dad and my mom taught me to make God first, to be strong, to work hard with a can do attitude. The truth is, I wouldn't be standing here today had it not been for the leaders who believed in me, leaders who took a chance on me, leaders who not only encouraged me and inspired me to be the best, but also helped me through some stuck points. If you don't mind, I want to just talk to my kids because they weren't there when I deployed twice. They weren't there when I was an OCT. They weren't there when I was getting smashed in basic training. Three things I want to share with you, Amanda, Victoria, Philip, and, and Hannah, is this. Number one, listen, right? Listen, and sometimes you can tune daddy out, but I want you to know, listen to the people who are above you. That's the cheat code in life. If you listen to the smart people and the people that are above you, they will tell you how to avoid the danger zones in life, right? So listen to the smart people around you. You get elevated if you do. Number two, hard work uh, and attention to detail makes a difference, Hannah. And I'm always telling you that, attention to detail, hard work. I figured out that you don't have to be the smartest person or the fastest person. You just have to be the one who keeps grinding and, and going at it. I've seen a lot of smart people quit, uh, but I've seen a lot of people who weren't as smart had more of a tenacity in them, and they made it. Last thing I want to say is don't give up. Listen, work hard, and don't give up. I have, you guys know, and I want you to say it after me. Rest. rest. Never let them rest. Never let rest. Until your good is better. Until your good is better. And your better is best. And your better is best. <laughs> <laughs> We ended with the army song and food.